good morning y'all so it's pretty early right now it is geez it should be about seven o'clock on um, 7 a.m me and um tristan are going to be running um chinaman gulch on um, today it is chinaman is like this is like three and a half hours from where we live so it's gonna be a trip um I think Paul was supposed to get come too. Paul he drives a um a red I think it was a JL. It's a red Jeep. Um he's supposed to go too. I'm not sure if he's going now or not because he's not replying to my message. Um I asked him, you know, what's your uh, ETA and he hasn't replied yet. And that was about ten minutes ago. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah. Come along and enjoy the ride. And I forgot to mention, I finally got another uh, GoPro. So I got another exactly same thing. This is a GoPro 7, uh, 7 Black. That is what you guys are watching this video on. Um, my other cameras are, so this is a GoPro Hero Black with the medium mod. Um, I have a DJI Osmo Action, and then which is, Huh, it's in my bag. But I have a DJI Osmo Action. I have a DJI Osmo Pocket. Um, the GoPro Hero 4 Session. And then I have the drone. So the the Session, I'm going to sell that. Let's see, the Pocket and then Action, I'm going to sell, uh, sell those also. The Pocket is nice if you do like... Um, if you do it for mainly like picture and stuff. Because it has the Hyperlapse. Um, it's really good for that, but for the purpose that I need a camera for, it's not. And then the, so that was the pocket. The action, which looks like a GoPro, like a regular GoPro, um, the filter is different. So when I use both camera, it just, it looks weird on video. Um, the GoPro is more, the colors are more pronounced and then the, the, uh, the DJI action, um, it's not it's more like a almost like a yellowish tint to it even though I have a filter on the lens it still has that and then uh, yeah I'm just they just now that I've been YouTubing for a little while I kind of I know I started to understand what I need so I'm phasing out of those so I bought another seven so all my accessories will work uh, for the GoPro and then I'm just gonna sell the rest of the camera so I'm down to I'll be down to two camera plus the drone so, that's where we're at. Yeah, so we're almost there. We're like 20 minutes from the trailhead, but there is a forest fire out here. I don't know if you guys can see over here, and it gets really dark. Yeah, that's California and Colorado for you. The air is really dry, so it doesn't take much to. Uh, cause a wildfire all right so we made it looks like that's the beginning of Chinaman and that up there is the beginning of uh, of Carnage. Uh, supposedly Carnage Canyon is one of the uh, hardest trail in the state of Colorado. So my uh, the owner of the the shop that I work at um, he has a rock buggy he's actually here. So yeah rock buggy uh, was it he's running like a King of the Hammer uh, chassis and it's powered by Chrysler. He has a the dirt it's like the engine transmission was out of a uh, Durango so yeah 
him and his buddies went up to Carnage, and I mean, he's he's they're built, you know, he's on 42 inch tires. So we're probably gonna go up Chinaman and then see them at the top of um, Carnage because they connect. So I'm here down, and this is Tristan, and Tristan's in the uh, side by side. Yeah, he's ready as well, so we're gonna get going. Yeah, this trail looks pretty easy on video but once we got here it's kind of i mean to be doing this kind of stuff without rock slider is kind of sketchy like a three foot climb. So all right we're gonna continue. Are you good? Go straight. Slow down. There, there you go. I need cross sliders. <laughs> Birthday's coming up. <laughs> More passenger? Passenger? Huh? Passenger? There we go. I need rock sliders ASAP. The sketchy thing to me was this right here. If my if my tire were to fall off, then I risk damaging my um, rocker well the door jam. So yeah, rock sliders are coming pretty soon. Because for for my run for my runner, I got thick skid plates. And a beefy rock slider, so this kind of stuff, I just send it, send it over, just slide over it. All right, looks like I got a little casualty. 
This is the trim for my uh, where my fog light is at. Is what Tristan said. We'll see when I get up there. Oh yeah. Yep, you're starting fine. There you go. Right there, yep. Now turn. There you go. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Alright, well, me and Evie just made it home. That was a long day and a long drive. So, there were, there was a lot more obstacles that uh, I could have filmed and show you guys. But, I don't know, that trail today was really busy. Um, there was a bunch of people there. And uh, we, got, we actually got stuck behind a big group of Jeeps. So, with that much traffic being there, um, I couldn't, I mean, it's hard for me to stop, set up the camera and film without getting in other people's way. So, that is fine, you know, that's the opportunity to uh, go back and check out that, that trail. So, it was, in my opinion, that is one of the harder trails that I've done. It's really fun, there's you no know, obstacles back to back, and the uh, gatekeeper is actually pretty, uh, for how it is right now, how I'm set up was pretty tent. It's pretty, it's on the scary side, you know. Not scary that I couldn't make it up. It's just scary that um, trying to do it without body damage, you know. So I definitely need rock slider that would protect the doors, because that was my number one concern. Was I didn't, I did not want to come down on a rock to where um, it messed up the door jam, and then I'll no longer be uh, able to open the door properly so that's up next is uh let's see I need to get rock sliders um and then I'm probably gonna build my own skip plate we'll see depending how much it is either build or get thicker skip plate because the factory room pretty thin you know you smash on a rock and they bend um so skip plate and then also need a winch that's another thing was that if I get high centered or whatever then um, I don't have a winch right now and Tristan don't have a winch on his side by side so if I get stuck it's gonna be really hard for um, Tristan to pop me off because you know being a side by side he's pretty light so yeah I mean it was a good trip it was worth the drive you know it was really fun and I guess it's me People say that that trail is really rocky. I wouldn't say they're rock. They're more like boulder. Because a lot of them are like the size of, you know, my tire. And those are the smaller ones. So, it was fun.